Right now at 4 o'clock, cleaning up and drying out. The impact from yesterday's wild weather is still being felt today, especially in Berks County. Dozens of people are displaced right now after floodwaters swept through this apartment building in Redding. Flooding waters also rushed to a high school. Today, Governor Josh Shapiro toured that area to witness the damage firsthand. It is Monday afternoon. I'm Brian Taft. And I'm Sarah Bloomquist. The big story on Action News is the aftermath of yesterday's rainstorms. To make things worse, the heavy and persistent rain haul, rainfall hit in areas where the ground was already saturated from recent rain. Action News reporter Brianna Smith live in Lower Alsace Township today with the cleanup very much still under one underway right now. Brianna. Yes, that's right, Brian and Sarah. Crews have been here all day cleaning up what's left behind of Antietam Creek. As you can see, crews are currently removing those rocks from the creek to restore it to its natural flow instead of it flowing into the school. Meanwhile, school leaders are trying to figure out how much damage they have to fix before the school year starts. This is beyond anything anyone has ever seen before. Um, we're all just in disbelief. The community watched in awe as the Antietam Creek flooded from Sunday's heavy rain and then changed course. Now it's flowing into Antietam Middle Senior High School. I was not expecting this. Like the creek has flooded before, but nothing this extreme. Governor Josh Shapiro and local leaders visited Lower Alsace Township to survey all of the damage at the school, businesses, and houses nearby, promising to help restore the neighborhood. This is obviously just devastating uh, for this community. There, there had been so much work and so much effort that had gone into trying to mitigate flooding. Superintendent Heidi Rockland says the district was in the middle of dredging the creek and building retaining walls to avoid the constant flooding. But now they'll have to start over outside and inside. Rockland says the school has significant damage and most likely won't reopen on time. Our basement, which had a lot of our maintenance equipment in it, plus all of our boilers and electric and all of that stuff completely wiped out. That was under six feet of water. Our entire first floor of the building is unusable. Which is a devastating blow to several students. I'm hoping just to be able to start my senior year in the school that I've spent 7th through 12th in. Rockland says classes are scheduled to start August 21st, but it's unrealistic to say the doors will open that day. We will make this work for us. We will all come together like we always do. Students, it will be okay. We are there for you. We will support you. We're going to be real creative with our solutions. Yeah, the superintendent says she does not want students to worry. She says she wants them to enjoy their summers. Also, something else to know, I spoke to a teacher who says they're collecting donations at the local rec center. So if you're in need of paper towels, water, or food, you can go there, or you can also donate. In Lower Alsace, Brianna Smith, Channel 6 Action News. Brian? Yeah, a big mess, but a lot of people out there to help. Uh, Brianna, thank you.